Hello King Gamers and welcome to another review. This time we have the Red Magic 8 Pro gaming smartphone from Nubia. So let's jump straight in. While the Red Magic 6 and Red Magic 7 didn't have much groundbreaking difference in design between them, the Red Magic 8 and the Red Magic 8 Pro definitely does. Of course, it still exudes a similar design philosophy where everything is dedicated to gaming, but at first glance it's clear that we're dealing with a different beast. First and foremost, the body of the phone this time has a symmetrical, more cubic look as opposed to the curved edges of its predecessors. Whether you like this will depend on your preferences, but the phone still looks modern and the details on the back push it into the realm of the futuristic. Naturally, the back design will also depend on the model and here we have this beautiful titanium white model. The color scheme was first available with the Red Magic 7S Pro and aside how great it looks, the white is significantly less likely to attract or at least show any kind of ugly fingerprints or other stains. Of course, the back also has some gamer details and graphics that clearly indicate this is a gaming phone. First of all, the cooling fan is once again clearly visible, but there are also markings for the gaming triggers and the Red Magic branding. These can even glow with a bit of RGB, both for aesthetic reasons and practical purposes, such as notifications when the phone is phased down. You can even set the RGB to react in accordance with music, which is a really neat detail. The cameras are again centrally positioned one beneath the other, but this time they protrude from the body of the phone. This does make the phone wobble quite a bit, but this is easily eliminated by putting on the case that comes packaged together with the phone. The front side has no design features worth mentioning because the Red Magic 8 Pro is almost entirely bezel free with a 93.7% screen to body ratio. Even the front camera is once again located under the screen and completely unnoticeable no matter how hard you try to spot it. Most of the noteworthy features relate to the controls on the sides of the phone. On the left side we have the well positioned volume adjustment buttons and an intake vent for the cooling fan. On the right side we have the little tactile power button and an exhaust vent for the cooling fan. In addition, on the right side is where you'll find the Red Magic mainstays in the form of gaming triggers and a little red switch used to enter the Red Magic game space. On the bottom of the phone there's a slot for a dual nano SIM card, a USB-C port and one of two speakers. At the top we have the second speaker, a second microphone and a 3.5mm headphone jack, which is always nice to see on flagship phones these days. Although previous Red Magic models were large, the Red Magic 8 Pro is quite a chunky monkey and it's no surprise that it gives off the impression of being built like a tank. It's made from a combination of aviation grade aluminium and Gorilla Glass 5 on the front and a mix of metal and undefined glass on the back. There's no talk of the body bending and I have a feeling that even weighing in at 230 grams, it could survive a few falls without much issues. Now the screen has been one of the standout features in previous Red Magic models and it's a similar story here. Here we're looking at a 6.8 inch flat panel with 1116 by 2480 resolution, a 20 by 9 aspect ratio and around 400 ppi pixel density. As you can see it's a truly beautiful display that looks really sharp, has rich color profile and excellent contrast. The brightness might not be on par with some competitors, but it goes up to a maximum of 820 nits, which is pretty good and certainly bright enough to use the phone outdoors in broad daylight. Furthermore, its appeal is once again boosted by a high 120Hz refresh rate. This of course works wonders for both simple UI navigation as well as games where you can expect things to look buttery smooth. While you can change the refresh rate manually between 60, 90 and 120 Hz, the phone will also dynamically change it depending on the content and whether you are interacting with the phone in order to conserve the battery. What's under the hood is predictably top of the line. You have the super performing second generation of Snapdragon 8, Adreno 740 GPU, 16GB of LPDDRX RAM and 512GB of UFS 4.0 type storage. 
There's also stuff like a secondary gaming chip that serves to deload the main chipset, as well as a few little hardware doodads that help further optimize the functioning of the main hardware. I always say this about Red Magic phones, but given the specs, this baby can literally devour anything you throw at it in terms of apps, games and anything in between. Almost every component is near or at least twice as fast as previous generation and it means that the Red Magic 8 Pro is one of the best performing Android phones currently on the market. Now, when it comes to sustained real-life usage, Red Magic has always been a cut above the competition thanks to their unique cooling solution. This entails various layers of cooling materials such as graphene, copper and conducting gel in combination with the already mentioned cooling fan. This is frankly an amazing solution that means you'll probably never feel the effects of thermal throttling on your in-game performance. While not as important to some, the back of the phone will also remain comfortable to hold despite some heat accumulating only after hours of play. You can even further boost the cooling effects by manually cranking the cooling fan to max speed, but I found that it was rarely really necessary and just a tad bit too loud for my liking. If you do want to have max cooling, however, the fan will easily be drowned out by the honestly amazing speakers. The stereo setup here can get very loud, with distortions being noticeable only close to or at max volume. There are even some DTSX Ultra Audio optimizations done here in order to make the sound as rich and as bass heavy as possible, which does wonders for music, movies and games. Now all of that, coupled with the gaming triggers, makes the Red Magic 8 Pro almost a perfect mobile device to game on. Whether you want a high refresh rate in something like Real Racing 3, sustained performance for long play sessions in Genshin Impact, or superior control in Call of Duty, you have it all. If you are coming from a non-gaming phone, this device can make you take mobile gaming more seriously as it takes the whole experience almost to a console-like level of enjoyment. As for the cameras, this time around you have the 50 megapixel main camera from Samsung, an 8 megapixel 120 degree ultra wide, and a 2 megapixel Galaxy Core macro camera. The improvement when compared to previous Red Magic phones is most evident in the main snapper, which now takes really great daylight images with lots of detail and realistic colors. It's even capable of producing some good looking low light images that don't sacrifice much detail in order to appear brighter. Even the portrait mode on the main camera looks great this time around, with great subject detection and convincing blur effect on the background. The ultrawide and the macro camera are nothing to write home about, but can still capture some decent looking images. They both have fixed focus, capture an ok amount of detail and true to life colors. They'll do just fine for an average user that just occasionally wants to take a wide or a close up shot of just about anything. The selfie camera is the second generation of Nubia's under display tech and while improved compared to the first generation, it's still far off from being anything more than serviceable. You can capture some decent looking images, sure, but more often than not you'll get blurry ones with weird artifacts, wrong colors and weird contrast. This is even more so in low light conditions, where I just recommend not using it if you have any other choice. The main camera on the Red Magic 8 Pro supports recording at a max 8K resolution at 30fps. While that is going to give you an insane amount of detail, I recommend leaving it at a 4K sweet spot in terms of both quality and practicality. Videos are generally top of the line in terms of color and detail, and you also have excellent electronic image stabilization that does wonders in reducing bumps and shakes when moving while recording. Also, once again, Red Magic adds tons of fun little modes to play around with in the camera family menu. While most of these are a bit gimmicky, there are some like the monocolor and the Hitchcock that are actually pretty awesome and enable you to capture some cool looking photos or videos without the need for fancy editing later on. The huge 6000 mAh battery coupled with a highly optimized chipset here is designed to keep you gaming for as long as possible. 
in that sense you'll easily be able to game for around 5-7 to seven hours depending on the graphical intensity of the game. For a more average use case with talking, browsing, listening to music and a bit of gaming on the side, you can expect almost two full days before needing to recharge, which is frankly a great result. Included in the package is the 65W charger and it's capable of fully charging the phone in just over 30 minutes, making the Red Magic 8 Pro an absolute monument of reliability when it comes to battery life. The gaming-centric nature of the phone is further evident in the software. The Red Magic 8 Pro runs a Red Magic 6 OS on top of Android 13. Visually, it's mostly the same old affair as the previous generations of Red Magic OS, with a clean but gamey UI with plenty of customization features. In terms of cosmetics, this entails stuff like widgets, wallpapers and the always-on display. On the practical front, there's once again the ability to enable split-screen view for multitasking as well as to shrink some apps into small windows. Once again you have the entertainment toolbox from where you can quick launch apps or do stuff like take screenshots, record the screen and more. It's only unfortunate that the position of the toolbox is fixed pretty high up given the size of the phone, making it less convenient to use despite its apparent usefulness. The most notable software feature is once again the game space, which serves as a central hub for all things gaming and is filled to the brim with highly customizable features. In terms of performance, you can customize things like touch sampling rate, screen sensitivity and smoothness, and you can even somewhat overclock the device, boosting its CPU and GPU performance. Furthermore, two quick menus that you engage by swiping from either side give even more options. On the right you have app shortcuts and plenty of toggles to either make your gaming experience as seamless as possible or to capture your gameplay either in the form of screenshots or videos. On the left you have more substantial controls and plugins. Most notably it's here where you can customize the gaming triggers. As mentioned, these will immensely boost your level of enjoyment of certain games as they make you insanely precise with a clear advantage over the unfortunate players struggling with on-screen controls. Now if that level of control wasn't enough, things are taken to a whole new level with the Gravity X plugin with which you can map external devices like controllers, mice and keyboards to on-screen controls. There's also the ability to screencast the phone to a larger display in a whopping 120Hz either via the USB cable or through Wi-Fi. Now I can't overstate how amazing the combination of these two features is, as it can literally turn the Red Magic 8 Pro into both a little gaming console or a productivity powerhouse. I see this going in a direction similar to the amazing Samsung's DeX and here's hoping that Nubia keeps these features and continues to improve upon them in every future model of Red Magic phones. As for the price, while the Titanium White variant is a bit pricier at $800, US you can get the Red Magic 8 Pro in mate version for as low as $650, US, which is a bargain considering the tech crammed inside, as well as the much pricier competitors. Ultimately, the Red Magic 8 Pro is a no-brainer if you're a gamer, but it's also a top contender if you're looking for a hyper-performing, top-of-the-line Android phone. If you like what you've seen in this video, as always, the product link will be included in the description down below. And also, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to Keen Gamer for more reviews just like this one.